Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Weather Sension Nazaria. We are officially at the deadline of October 31st, and it is now finally hol What do you what do you Just kidding with you guys. It is officially October 31st. Happy Halloween to those of you tuning in today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'm very excited to celebrate the Halloween holiday with those of you not only tuning in, but for the festivities later on as we work our way into the evening hours post-sunset of October 31st. Today's segment is going to be centered around Invest 97L. This was identified during our 8 p.m. Tropics talk yesterday evening and made for quite an extensive discussion last night, much longer than we typically do during our 8 p.m. Tropics talks Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. However, it was definitely looking a lot more organized yesterday when it was first identified. You can see now it looks like the shear just hardly off to its eastern side is playing a little bit of a role in terms of diminishing the thunderstorm activity that it did have trying to rapidly consolidate around its center center yesterday and now ever since even National Hurricane Center has dropped our formation chances down to a 20-60 split 20% in the next 48 hours 70% over the next seven days mainly because this area of wind shear I'll show you on the analysis chart here momentarily is anticipated to chase this thing down and potentially stop it from forming altogether or it may be able to work its way far enough downstream to finally get itself going to the south of Jamaica south of Cuba as it nestles in underneath a large anti-cyclone that's still parked over the Caribbean. BNC. Here is where we sit currently on windy.com. We're really looking closely at windy right now because truthfully you can't really highlight much of even a tropical wave axis associated with it right now. There is a bit of weak cyclonic curvature in the winds just to the south of Santa Domingo kind of right about where that new line of thunderstorm activity we saw on the true color visible satellite is starting to form up as it tries to make a run out ahead of that wind shear off to its east. If I rapidly ascend the atmosphere using this overlay, once you get up to about 400 to 300 millibars you could see right off over the leeward islands in particular you have all those northerly winds accelerating down towards the south that's helping to keep a lot of that thunderstorm activity sheared getting rid of the tops of those thunderstorms and that's the main reason why we saw a lot of the convective outbursts that were occurring late yesterday evening since diminish and are now trying to back build once again as we go through the maximum portion of the heating of today's afternoon now if you look out over jamaica we also have our other low pressure center this was what was initially highlighted in the central Caribbean to drift north and potentially become tropical storm vents. The same thing with Invest 96L, guys. Both of these highlighted areas since diminished and did not take the letter V name off of our hurricane list. At this time, we have a very interesting setup highlighted by our icon and our European model. I'm not going to show you in this video because honestly, this has been the trend over the last few days and it wouldn't be any new information to you guys. But what it looks like the icon and the Euro want to do is kind of merge both of our areas here, the low affecting Jamaica at this time, not a whole lot associated with it outside of that cyclonic turning in the winds and then our tropical wave trying to further get its act together to the south of Dominican Republic as it very slowly trudges off to the west and eventually the west southwest that could be the interaction that happens down the road at least according to our large scale models our long range models we'll get into the high res models here in a moment but they want the two to converge and eventually plow right into Nicaragua whether it be as a tropical depression or a tropical storm currently our H wharf and our H mon are the only models out there really given a high value amount of confidence that this system is going to go all the way to hurricane status. So as I showed you guys on windy.com, here is a better look at the analysis right now for our upper level wind shear. And you can see red shading all in through here coming out of the north over our Lesser Antilles and parts of Puerto Rico as well. It's very hard to notice, but our Invest 97 is right in through here. Very, very thin layer of cloud cover associated with it. And this band of shear is actually trying to chase the storm down as that upper level cyclone right here, anti-cyclone, continues to very slowly meander off to the west, being run up against by our upper level pattern over the south southeast and the mid-Atlantic states, you can see with all this upper level wind shear here, as it butts up against the rest of our long wave pattern, that should slow its forward progress. And as Invest 97L gets itself into the Central Caribbean, it'll be right underneath the maximum area of upward vertical motion and that difluent flow associated with our anti-cyclone. So there is still a reasonable shot we get some development out of it. As of right now, our models are definitely losing confidence outside of the two tropical models I mentioned previously. 
I've been doing a lot of digging here in the Weather Center, and this is the only small-scale entity that I could come up with that is helping to suppress any kind of rapid development or even just gradual intensification of it as of right now because the shear is in close proximity to where that wave would be analyzed on a surface chart. We're going to look at the 060 HWERF parent model because, unfortunately, if you look at our halves A or B, because there is no discernible center of circulation, as you saw on windy.com, the models are flying all over the place. It's trying to identify a low pressure either somewhere in interior South America out over the MDR. It's trying to gravitate towards any low pressure center that it can and try to highlight that as 97L since we don't have that closed low feature just yet. So we're going to use the H wharf. H wharf's doing okay over the last couple of runs, even to include the 12 Zulu, which we'll get there in a second. And you can see that there is that area of wind shear off to its east that is likely to stay there and in close proximity to whatever this storm decides to do over the next few days. Eventually, it can make its way far enough to the west southwest to get out ahead of it. And at this point in the run, you can see the H wharf is expecting a 972 category 2 hurricane out of it as it makes its final approach continuing to strengthen towards the coastline of Nicaragua and eventually turn into the northwest into Honduras and this ebbs and flows very well with our current track guidance this is our 12 Zulu track guidance and you can see a very good level of consistency over the next three to four even five days that we are anticipating a landfall somewhere between Nicaragua and the coastline of Honduras if you were there viewing my tropics talk yesterday I mentioned that for a lot of us here in the Caribbean Jamaica the Cayman islands some of the islands just off the coast of belize and the yucatan peninsula to include the bahamas cuba and the state of florida we are currently in watch mode we're just kind of hanging back seeing exactly how this unfolds but for our folks out there in central america nicaragua honduras and belize and even el salvador depending on how far to the west this low pressure area decides to track you guys should definitely be on alert you should be preparing because again there is no end result where this system does not either come close to making landfall or potentially trudge its way all the way through the Central American landmass wreaking havoc in its wake. Okay, here is the 12 Zulu H Wharf right now. And as you can see, current time, we are down to 1,004 millibar low pressure area. It is not currently highlighted or indicated on satellite, but the H Wharf is calling for a little bit of further intensification and at least organization as we go throughout tonight and into tomorrow. And you track this through time, and now the H Wharf has backed off on rapid intensification until we get to about Friday and into the weekend, where it could deepen down to a tropical storm. And eventually, as it gets into interior parts of the Caribbean Sea, where a lot of that deep ocean ocean heat content is and directly underneath that 200 millibar anti-cyclone now you can see it taking on hurricane force intensity and making landfall into parts of northern Nicaragua and trying to spill further to the north through Honduras as a major hurricane here whether or not this comes to fruition remains to be seen this is one of the two tropical models that are actually indicating the threat for full-fledged hurricane intensity and I feel like until we get our halves models on board with tracking the right system these are going to be our only two models to go off of right now because I can tell you right now, Icon, Euro, GFS, Canadian, you name it, they've lost all confidence that this is going to be anything more than to disorganize low pressure moving into Central America. As I mentioned, I'm going to briefly go through what our HAVS models are doing for verification. And if you track this through time, take a look at how the AOR goes all over the place. So there's really nothing we can pull from these models. Unfortunately, I was hoping we could by today. But you can see apparently Invest 97 is now down in parts of South America approaching Chile. Definitely don't take that seriously, guys. I'm just messing with you. Unfortunately, these models are not on board until we can get some really good data and maybe even some reconnaissance data at that in from Invest 97 if we do get that closed low center down the road. Finally, last but not least, before we wrap up this happy Halloween segment of Weather Center, this is exactly what we're watching right now. So if you look out over the Lesser Antilles, there's a little bit of dry air and what looks to be an upper level cyclonic circulation very slowly moving its way off to the west. This is in association with the backside of that anti-cyclone or that upper level ridge that is instigating a tremendous amount of thunderstorm and moisture activity across much of the Caribbean. This is a clear delineation of the most hostile environment for 97L and the most favorable. If we can get this area of disorganized shower activity that is our invest down a little bit further into the influence of this upper level ridge away from the shear on all sides into that protective barrier if you will, I don't see why we couldn't at least get Tropical Storm Vince out of this. As of right now, as it stands, that little 
channel of wind shear is going to attempt to chase this storm down. Both of them are going to be running off to the west, and it's really going to depend exactly what this whole subtropical cyclone, or I should say again, our subtropical anticyclone, our high height center here indicated on the water vapor imagery does. If it can stay parked out there, it will keep the shear to the east. And as our system moves its way in underneath where that upper ridge sits, that's when we can start to tap into a lot more of that moist air advection, good relative humidity, keep that dry air completely out of the equation and get a lot more lift for that convection to hopefully consolidate and get some organization out of it. So a lot of it is really going to depend on what this ridge does and what that shear just downstream or upstream of it does over the next couple of days as we approach Friday, Saturday, and eventually Sunday. That's when we could definitely have either a full-fledged system on our hands or an entire bust in our forecast. So the variables are starting to track down and we're definitely not looking as large scale currently because our development chances are starting to diminish. And until we actually get some development out of here, there's really no reason to obsess over track or intensity or any of those other finer variables until we actually get Vince on the game board. Anyways, folks, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this short and abbreviated Weather Center Nazario segment. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was worth your while because I know we really don't have a whole lot of new information to present with this, and it's been very, very anomalous in terms of what this system wants to do. Last week, it looked like we had very, very good favorability conditions for this thing to blow up and become maybe even our next Caribbean hurricane before the finale of hurricane season wraps up altogether November 30th. As of right now, we're back almost in a holding pattern. I still want to emphasize to our folks out there in Central America, you need to be prepared and ready for the worst just in case because regardless of what the system does, it's going to be impacting you first before it does anything else. Guys, I also want to wish you a wonderful Halloween. Yes, I'm still in costume. I wanted to go ahead and embrace the Halloween spirit to the best of my ability. And I would like to roll out at least one more Halloween short for the YouTube channel if you guys decide you want to take a look at that. We'll see how that unfolds. We'll also see what Invest 97L does over the next several days and exactly who or what what it could likely impact as it tracks off through our Caribbean Sea. Guys, it goes without saying, it's been a great time chatting with everybody and bolstering that Halloween spirit as we've made our way through October. And as of tomorrow, we will be in the last 30-day stretch of our Atlantic tropical season. And as such, this channel will be making some modifications. We're not going to forget about you guys down in the Caribbean, let alone Bermuda or Central America for that matter. However, we will start to focus more on our winter time pattern and exactly what this El Nino decides to do after having been almost washed out entirely, it seems, for the last couple of weeks. So stay tuned. We are going to be a year-round channel, but as we get close to the climax of hurricane season, you can believe that our content is going to start to evolve with the seasons, guys. But you can best believe that Weather Center Nazario is still going to be alive and well, and we're going to be having a lot of fun talking weather and talking tropics until this hurricane season can close out according to the calendar. Alrighty, folks, once again, happy Halloween. Thank you so much for joining me today on this Tuesday afternoon. I hope everything is great, and I hope you have a lot of fun with your family and friends tonight, whatever it is you decide to do for the Halloween holiday here in the United States. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. This is Weather Center Nazario, signing out.